7 social area with the author Anthony Lishak. What inspired you to become a writer? From as long, as far back as I can remember, I've always loved making up stories, sharing stories. In fact, my mother used to call me a liar. She used to make things up. What, did you ever make up stories? I used to love making up stories that were a bit half true, not true at all. In fact, I lived in a fantasy world. And now I've realised that although my mum used to call me a telltale as a child, I can now tell tales and get paid for it. <laughs> How do you get your ideas for your stories? That's an interesting question. I'm talking to lots of Year 6 children today and the main theme I'm trying to get across to children is the stories come from personal experiences, things you see, things you hear, people you meet. I might write a story about a girl who's in year 10 in the school in, some, in the hole who holds a black microphone. You never know. That might, you might become part of my story. Ideas come from the things you see and you hear. You take the truth and then start lying about it. What's your favourite book of yours and why? Now that's a good question because I don't like choosing favourites. Some authors say I can't choose a favourite if I did the other ones would get a bit jealous. Okay. Now, but the reason it is difficult to choose is because even the most simple book, can you pass me the, the Row Your Boat one? This book here, which I'm, I'm speaking to the um, year sixes, year sevens about, this book took me 10 seconds to write. It's all about my daughter when she was a baby, because I got fed up with singing Row, Row Your Boat, so I made that fly your plane, drive your car. So this book took me no time at all to write, but it's important to me because it's Emily, who's now 20, but when she was about seven, eight months old. If you could recommend any of your offers to the year sixes, who would they be and why? That's a lovely question. Um, uh, a part of me doesn't want to recommend anything, not because you go read my books only, no, because you've got to find a type of author that makes a connection with you, something that you might like reading. I may not like reading, it doesn't make it better or worse, it's, it's a different relationship between writer and reader. But I've got to tell you, I think it should be compulsory to read Philip Paul. Because not just his dark materials, which in you know, the trilogy was really, really famous, but his other work, he is able to make you feel as a reader that he's talking personally to you. What does a person need to become a writer and what advice would you give them? It's very simple, lie. It's good, isn't it? I mean, uh, the most important thing about any lie is that the person who hears it believes it could be true. Well, the person thing, most important about any book, even if it's about talking mice or cuddly teddy bears that talk, the important thing is that the person who reads it believes it could be true. It hasn't got to be true, but they have to believe in it. Yeah? So, the important thing for a writer is to try and get into the mind of the reader and think, OK, is this person going to believe what I'm writing about? Do you think sport is important to a child's education? Absolutely, for lots of reasons, not just because I'm an Arsenal fan. You know, you might be useless at certain things, but if you find one area where you're succeeding, be it sport or music or art, then that's going to give you that feeling of, yeah, I can do that. And then you'll search for that feeling of success elsewhere. So, yeah, it's very important, very important. What do you hope the year sixes will take away from you after meeting you? That even an idiot like me... What are you laughing at? <laughs> even someone... No, you know what? To believe in yourself. I mean, I was a weird person. And I actually wanted to be a published author when I was really, really young. And, and I've, I learned from a very early age that the three most important words in our language are don't give up in anything you do. And if I'd given up when the very first story I sent to a publisher was rejected, there would be no books around with my name on the cover. Don't give, and I wanted, I'm trying to convey that to the Year 6 kids, that telling stories is a natural thing. It's what everyone can do. Everyone's full of stories. Some people are brilliant at writing them down. Some people are just good at telling them. Some people are good at making them up and not telling anyone about it, but you're buzzing around. But believe you can do it. Believe in yourself. And, and, and you know what? Next year's Year 7 are going to be fantastic. The ones I've met so, met so far are going to be such a tribute to your school. Watch them. <laughs>